This right here is a double pack of 200 watt solar panels by All Powers. Model number AP 2X033. There's one 200 watt panel in here, and there's one 200 watt panel in here. What I'm going to be doing is unboxing these and setting them up outside and plugging them back into an EcoFlow Delta Max. And we're going to see what kind of input we get with these two solar panels run in series. Though this is technically a different model number, I think that's just because they come in a two-pack, but I kind of do want to check these out to see if they're exactly the same as the other polycrystalline. The first thing I'm going to do is just check out the pouch, see what we get. Looks like we have the same native MC4 connection that terminates directly into the solar panel. We have the same Anderson to MC4 connection. We also have the battery terminal to MC4 connection. Fair warning, um, based on my experience, you probably should use this only connected up to a charge controller. You never want to go directly from a solar panel to a battery. And it looks like we have the same DC to MC4 connection, which allows you to, to use a plethora of adapters. So nothing looks different here. The model number is only different because this is the two pack. You could buy two packs of these. So you get two solar panels. If you want to double your input into whatever solar generator or whatever use case you want to use. Running these in series will double your voltage, the open circuit voltage, but it'll keep the amperage the same. So we're going to get these connected into the EcoFlow Delta Max right now. So right now you'll notice that I'm not using the built-in kickstands of the solar panels on the portable solar panels. I'm actually using wooden pieces because I often found through my testing, and I've tested these portable solar panels multiple times, and I've gone out the same time every single day around noon time, is I need a really small angle. And in order for me to achieve that, these wooden pieces that I had lying around in the garage helped me accomplish the goal because... I was able to get a smaller angle, which would in turn help me get more of a direct orientation of these solar panels to the sun. And you'll notice right towards the end of this clip that the flap of the portable solar panel actually fell on top of the cells. I just wanted to let you know that that had been corrected for later on in the video when we go over the results. So right here I have the MC4 to XT60 connection. And I'm going to be run, running it through the window, which I have a grommet over here. I'm going to plug one into here, and the other one into here. So now we're running in series. So right here on the left, we have the EcoFlow Delta Max. And on the right, right behind that freezer chest, you'll see the orange XT60 connection. Up here, you'll see the window, but I have the XT60 connection going through that grommet. And right now, I'm going to hook it up to the back of the EcoFlow Delta Max. Pretty cool because when you plug in the XT60 connection in the back, it auto detects it and turns on. So let's see. I have this freezer chest right here and upstairs in the kitchen, obviously I have a kitchen refrigerator, I put a outlet in the back of that refrigerator. It's labeled battery and this yellow cable runs down from that outlet and would plug back into the EcoFlow Delta Max. Right now I have it plugged into a UPS but when the freezer chest and the kitchen refrigerator are going at the same time we're getting about 160 watts of power consumption so that would put me right now in a 110 to a 120 watt surplus see look right now it's going over 300 
It's fluctuating a lot because I think there's clouds going by right now. Look, 340? 340 watts? That's pretty cool.